Hello there, I am Mark Mungus. I am a professional in sanitary engineering. In other words, I make a living off being a men's room assistant. Get that for you. Oh, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Can I interest you in soap? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. 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 I currently work out of a Mexican cuisine, and don't get me wrong, I love Mexican food. But when it comes to the toilet, Things just get a little... Hey, hey man, where, where the hell is your... Oh my oh. gosh, I'm sorry. Just give me one second here. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, thank you. Let me take care of that thank for you. you. So much. Thank yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. As I was saying, I mean, I can't really complain, you know? Here. Thanks. Yeah, you got it. Would you like some lotion? Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. Oh my gosh. Uh, a wise man once said, those who don't complain win. So I don't. Uh, oh wow. Wow. You have the most amazing, amazing forearms. Thank you. Whew, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Uh. Sorry, man, I don't have any money. Oh. It's okay, Mark. I, I very much love my job and my life. People friendly, cleaning, overflowing toilets, those are all things a sanitary engineer has to hear on the daily. Hi, I'm Tori Shibora. Director and creator of this new documentary series you're watching right now called Finding the Unknown where we dive into the world's most unknown professions and jobs that people do to make a living. On episode two today, we're meeting with a man, a very young, passionate man, whose job is to make you feel most comfortable in the place most uncomfortable. So how do you normally start your day off? Well, to be honest with you, first things first, I make sure that's clean, which, look at it, it's not. Yeah. And really, there's no science behind it. I just come in, make sure everything's clean, make sure everything's straight. Here. Oh, okay. Um, thanks. Thank you so much. Um, but really, there's no science behind it. I just come in and open the place up. What is there to it? Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Yeah. And what time do you Shh. 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 Shut up! Do you hear that? Sorry, Terrible man. vibrato. Sorry, Embarrassing man. pitch. Take a hike. Every single day, these rotten kids are in here singing about or what they think is singing. Ha! What are you doing? Let's go. Yeah. Come on in. Um. Come on, Terrence, Jeremy, whatever, camera guy, let's go. Do you guys all want to get I also do some freelance work on the side. I mean, I, I have my own website. I get the occasional call to, you know, bar mitzvahs, birthdays, weddings, and, and, and funerals. All right, so give me the rundown and all your, you know, stuff. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, let's start with the basket. This basket is your basic 
cardboard structure, but sleeped with a carbon fiber glow. Oh my gosh! And right here, we have our non-linen, pure cotton, extra soft, bamboo knitted two by four hand towels with an array of different colors. Oh yeah, I forgot. Right here we have our aloe vera soft and textured based hand soap without the use of xenon chloride fumes. No, 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 but substituted with an aroma of Pracidonium tetrachloride. Oh. And, well, I mean, these are just mints, lifesavers to be used as breath fresheners. I, 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 oh, yeah. um. It's good. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Very knowledgeable, mm -hmm. uh, very passionate. Absolutely. Um, uh, cool, you know? Absolutely. Well, of course it's cool. I'm a men's room assistant. I take this job extremely seriously, and as you can tell, up to the code of conduct. You're doing great. Thank you. You're doing great. I take my job extremely seriously. Like, think of how important my job is. The bathroom is supposed to be this awkward, smelly, if I'm not working, extremely messy place. And it's my job, our job as men room assistants, to take those negative things and turn them into something great. And that's something I hope that I can accomplish here. Hey there! No, no, it's okay! No, come on! Sir! Come back! Crap! We scared him. You think it was the cameras? I just might have been shy. Yeah? Oh. Sir, hey, how are you doing today? Sir! I mean, sometimes you get that odd person from time to time, be put in those awkward moments, but I mean, overall, it's pretty relaxing and easy enough, especially from Mark Mungus. Um, you, I don't know, you, you want a breath thing? No, thanks, I, I ate, so. You're sure? Positive. Suit yourself, Terry. Uh, <clears throat> Tori. So. That's, that's exactly what I said. All right, so we're- You know, have you ever killed anybody, Tori? No, um, no, I can't say that I have, so. I have stabbed over three and a half men. <laughs> Wow. All by accident, of course. No, no. Yeah, All by course. accident. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to go, um, but it was a pleasure. Oh, wow. Uh, and I'll, I'll keep you informed when, you know, everything's ready. And, yeah. Uh, it's been great. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was swell. Perfect. Um, okay, so. Yeah, See you later. Bye. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thank you. I had a great time. Okay, Jeremy, Jeremy, let's go, Jeremy. Bye, Jeremy. Okay, you know, just shut the camera. Shut the camera. All right, well, that does it for this episode of Finding the Unknown.
Tune in next time, where I'm sure things are going to get more awkward. I'm Tori Shibora, and thanks for watching.